coming to you from the DGSN studios. This is the game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's your host, the star of Tic Tac Toe, Brandon Scrub. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe right here on the Discord Game Show Network. Glad to have you with us once again. Got two contestants here ready to win a lot of cash to take home and spend on some great things for themselves with the holiday season up and coming. Well, let's get right to our first game here, playing with our contestants starting in the X position. Uh, we have Hunter. Hunter, welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. Thank you, and it feels like I've... Uh, have you changed the decor? No, you haven't changed the decor. It's just been, I just haven't been here for a good long while. Yeah, I uh, just knocked the dust off some things recently, so it probably looks nicer than it should. But glad to have you back with us. Remind everybody in YouTube land a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 21, going on 22 years old. I'll be 22 in January. I'm a huge game show fan. And just recently, a friend of mine created a Gambit home game, which I will be hosting off camera, of course, after this game is through. Um, if any is it, if anybody's interested, self plug there, but uh, shameless. Um, but yeah, I'm an inspiring game show host, and uh, yeah, I love playing game shows with my friends, especially with you, lovely people. Oh, grand, fantastic! I actually look forward to that. See, that's just—it's just a little sneak peek to some of the games that we get to do here on the DGSN. So, like I said, if you want to be a contestant or want to be part of this great game, make sure you leave a comment down below. We'll get you a membership in to DGSN. You can enjoy all these great classic game shows we have here. But we have a game we have to get to oh, here. Yeah. We have to meet your opponent playing in the circle position today. He is the master of the Joker's Wild here on the DGSN. It's Alex Hool. Alex, welcome back. Thank you, Brandon. Great to be Fantastic. back. Fantastic. Now I've got to ask you. Let's see. With with the you being the host of Joker's Wild or anything, have you ever had seen a contestant really have like such a hard time struggling and like, facing the devil in the bonus round? Oh well, I did see see that happen a few times but but there was this one woman though <clears throat> i don't remember her name but this was like from 1978 i want to mm -hmm. say and and the devil came up and she said to the host the late jack barry i have played six games and only five and just five times i got the devil Mm, that is a rough going against them in the bonus round. But fortunately, you don't have to deal with a devil here. You just have to deal with a very angry dragon at times. But hopefully, yeah. hopefully he does not show his face for too long on this episode, because that means usually somebody's losing out of money. But we have money to start building, so I say we get to it. Are you guys ready to play? Ready to play. And I'm ready. ready. Well, let's go right over here to the board. Uh Let's take a look at your first nine subjects up for play here on this first game of Tic-Tac-Toe. And they are... We have Athletic Feats, Science, the Top Ten, Challenge Category, Grab Bag, On the Map, Language, Secret Category, and Entertainment. Of course, the Top Ten being a Top Ten list, I give you a subject. You have to give me the most popular answer on the list to get the box. Challenge category, I'll ask you a question. You have to choose to either answer the question or challenge your opponent to answer it. If whoever answers the question gets it right, they get the box. If they're wrong, their opponent takes the box. And, of course, the secret category on the board. We question about anything, get it right. We're going to double all the cash that's in the pot, all right? Game one underway for this episode number 15 of Tic-Tac-Toe. Hunter, you won the toss backstage. You get to start. Where would you like to begin? Entertainment in the lower right. Entertainment, lower right hand corner. Starting with entertainment on this episode of Tic Tac Toe, and here is your first question. Uh, the the world famous Stars on Ice show is currently sponsored by what manufacturer of preserves? 
Smother. And that is correct. Put an X on the board. With a name like Smuckers, it has to be good. And believe me, I've tried their stuff. It's yes, good. it's delicious. $200 in the pot. We'll continue on. We'll shuffle. And Alex, your selection. Um, let's try grab bag in the lower set. All right, going with it, going for a question out of the old grab bag here. Here it comes. Your grab bag question is this. One of these is one of Disney's seven dwarves. I misread the question there. Which one of those is one of Disney's seven dwarves? Dozy, lazy, grumpy, or wishful? Oh, no doubt about it. It's grumpy. You got it right. Let's put a no on the board. $400 in the pot. And let's shuffle. Got yourself out of a pickle there, huh? Brandon? Yes. I, I, I just glance over the question. I don't pre-read them before the show, so that one was on me. But it's your turn, Hunter. Please select. Entertainment Center Box. Entertainment in the Center Box. It's a two-part question. You'll have a little bit extra time to think about it. All right, your two-part entertainment question starts with this. What Andrew Lloyd Webber musical sees naive singer Christine Day seduced by a disfigured musical genius? Name the op, name, name the musical. That's the first one. And the second one is Thurl Ra Ravenscroft is perhaps best known as the singer of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. But he also voiced what serial mascot for over five decades? All right. And there's your, here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Hunter, which one would you like to answer first? First one. All right, first one. What Andrew Lloyd Webber musical sees naive singer Christine Day seduced by a disfigured musical genius? Phantom of that the Opera? That is correct. And for the set of box and $300... Thurl Ravenscroft is perhaps best known as the singer of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, but he's also voiced what serial mascot for over five decades? <coughs> They're great! Tony the you Tiger. You got it right. Square on the nose. Put an X in the box. $700 in the pot. Well done. And good impression, by the way. Let's shuffle. And control over to you, Alex. Where would you like to go? Oh, I have to take athletic feats for the block. Right, put this question right under athletic feats. You'll have a diagonal block of Hunter. Here it is. What gymnastic event what? often sees men performing the Iron Cross or the Crucifix? What gymnastic event is often seen men performing the Iron Cross or the Crucifix? For the block, name the event. Competitive wrestling? No. Um, oh, I, I I'm actually know it, Brandon. Correct. Go ahead. What is it? Dude, that would be the rings. Yes, that's correct. It's yeah. the position of gymnastics. Yeah, the position of the gymnastics oh, yeah. event. So, so, all right. No block there, unfortunately. Seven hundred dollars will remain in the pot. We'll shuffle. I was trying to mentally get Alex Wool to say the ring. Oh, and dear. here, the control goes back to you, Hunter. What would you like? I gotta do it. The challenge category for the All win. All right, challenge category. His question, you get this, if you get the box, it's tic-tac-toe for you, $900, and you'll be headed to the bonus round to face Fluffy. However, if Alex gets the box, it will be a successful diagonal block, so it could very well come down to this question. Now, the challenge category is going to have multiple choice answers. I'm going to read you the question only. You have to decide if you want to answer it or if you want to challenge Alex to answer, all right? Okay. Here, here is your challenge category question. Who was the president of the Confederacy during the American Civil War? 
Now, do you want to answer that, or do you want to challenge Alex to answer it? I think I want to challenge Alex to answer. All right, Alex, get this question correctly. You have the block. I'll repeat it one more time. Who was the president of the Confederacy during the American Civil War? Is it A, Jefferson Davis, B, Ulysses Grant, C, Robert E. Lee, or D, George Sherman? I'm going to make it Grand Pumpkin. Is it Robert E. Lee? The correct answer is Jefferson Davis. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Ah. X takes the box and Hunter wins the game. Good game, Alex. Good game. Well done. The successful challenge for 100 gives him $900, and Tic Tac Dell, he'll be heading to the bonus round in just a moment. Alex, unfortunately, I said, I thought you were going to, I was hoping you were going to say Davis, but unfortunately, it didn't come up your way. But we got some nice parting gifts, and our thanks for playing Tic Tac Dell once again. Thank you. All right, Hunter, if you're ready, you're ready to play the bonus round. Ready Here we go. go. Let's take it on over to bonus land. You know, when I'm doing the choices, I thought in my head, I'm going to do the choices, and I thought I passed it. Well, you, get, you made a successful challenge, and that worked out in your favor here. Now, here's the chance where you can earn a lot of money in the bonus round here. All you got to do is get to $1,000 or find the tick in the tack before you find our friend Fluffy in the center there, and you will win your cash pot times the number of uncovered boxes you still have on the board. If you can find tick and tack on any of your two picks, we're going to give you the tick tack jackpot, which currently stands at $22,000. It's not been won in several episodes. I want to give away that money today. If you can find Tick Attack on your first two picks, I will double it to $44,000. And either way, you'll have a chance to play a super bonus game if you can find Tick Attack. All right? You ready? Fair All right. Fair enough, ready? Let's ready up the board. Shuffle the <laughs> Fluffy, go hide somewhere and stay there. All right, Hunter, whenever you're ready, make your first selection. Well, well, since the name of the game is Gambit, and since it revolves basically around Blackjack, I'm going to pick two numbers in this particular order. First, number two. All right, number two, top center of the board. What do we have on two? You got $400. All right, you can take it, You can take the money and stop at any time, or you, you can go on. You need $600 or tick attack. And keeping with the Gambit theme, what goes with two? One. To make 21. 21. Behind number one, we have. That's $300. That's 700 bucks. All right. Let's finish the top row at number three. Going across the top row, hoping for the instant win. Behind number three, want to see $300 or tick and tack? You got tack. Well. Well, we're halfway to giving away a jackpot here. Fine tick, I'll give you $22,000. Number nine. Looking for tick behind number nine. Bottom right hand corner we have. We got a tick! Hey, it's a oh, jackpot! Ready. Ready. Hey. Ready to go. Well, I guess Brandon was proved correctly when he said that the jackpot was gonna go off today. Yeah. I barely have enough gas money for this. This is crazy, <laughs> but you just won a big cash jackpot right there. Twenty-two thousand dollars. Finally managed to give that thing away. It's been a minute. Now, here's the thing. Now you have a chance to double it even further. Five numbers remain on the board. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. One of them has our friend Fluffy in it. If you could find Fluffy, I will double your jackpot to $44,000. If you don't find Fluffy, whichever cash amount that you do find, I will multiply it by 10 and add that to your score. So now I need you to find our dragon. Where is he hiding? Come on, come on, Fluffy. Come on, Fluffy. Be behind four. Number four, left side of the board. Show me a dragon for the double money. No, not a dragon. Uh, no. Two, Two fifty. We're gonna add a zero to that. Make it twenty-five hundred dollars. Taking your bonus round winnings for this game. To twenty-four thousand five hundred dollars, add that to your 
previous winnings, you have a Hunter, a one game cash winnings total twenty five thousand four hundred dollars. Wow. Well done. Well, that's the way you start off an episode of Tic Tac Toe right there. Fan All right. Fantastic. Well done. Well, we're going to have to take a minute, reset everything, get back to reset the jackpot back to $10,000 for our next game. And we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more Tic Tac Toe right after this. Don't go anywhere. Where's Fluffy? Oh, Where is he? You forgot, to, you forgot to show us where Fluffy actually was. Yeah, you're right. I almost did. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I'm so excited. I'm, like, I'm trying to give away all the money. Let's see. Where where was he before we continue? <laughs> uh, Eight. That's my guess. Um, I had a second six. guess. Like, six, six. That's my guess. He was behind number eight. Yeah. Wow. I was right. Number eight had Fluffy there. There we go. All right, now that I'm messed up, messed up the whole thing, and I'm jumping ahead of myself, I'm just excited. All we'll right. be back with the next game soon, yeah. while Brandon resets the board and reset my brain working at this point. Oh, so we need a commercial break. We'll be right back. More tic tac toe after this. <laughs> All right, guys, I have managed to compose myself and brought myself back to the proper mindset of hosting the show without losing it again. Well, welcome back to Tic Tac Dell. Hunter pulled off an amazing win to start off this run. Picked up $25,400 in his first victory. And now we're going to see if he can take the interim championship away from my girlfriend who's playing in the exposition, Sunny. Sunny? Nope. Hi. Yeah, she, you have to forgive her. She just got home, so she's still getting settled in. But she's ready to play. She's ready to defend her crown. And see if she could take down Hunter. You guys ready? Ready. Good luck. Oh, good. I actually mine's coming up soon as well. Now let's take a look at your nine subjects on the board for this game of tic tac toe, and they are. We have language, fun and games, the arts, double or nothing, small screen, auction, secret category, food and drink, and music. Now, double or nothing, of course, you know, is a chance to earn two boxes in one turn. The auction category, I give you a subject. You go bid back and forth between the two of you. How many answers of that subject you can get right to take the box. And, of course, the secret category, again, doubles everything in the pot. All right? Game two underway or this episode of Tic-Tac-Toe. Sonny, you're the reigning interim champion, so you get to pick first. Where are we going? Fun and games. Fun and games, top side of the board, like I said, everybody's favorite category here in the DGSN, it seems like. Here's your question under fun and games. All right. Within, within five, one way or another, how many marbles does each player have in a game of Chinese checkers? The correct answer is 10 right on the nose. You got it. Put an X on the board. Well, can you say how, I, can't, I can't even tell you how long it's been since I played that game. I know. I think well, I have well, it somewhere. I just don't we, remember where I put it. Ooh, I got to find it it's later. on later. But we got a game to get to here. We got $200 in the pot. We're going to shuffle. And Hunter playing in the O position this game. It's your selection. Double or nothing. Ooh, going double or nothing. Upper left-hand corner. Here is the first part of your double or nothing question. What was the nickname of astronaut Edwin Aldrin? Was it A. Aldi, B. Bud, C. Buzz, or D. Kez? Buzz. Buzz is correct. Now, do you want to keep that box or do you want to risk it and go for a second one? I'll try fun and games, please. All right, going to double play the double or nothing fun and games in the center. A two-part question. You'll have some extra time to think about it, okay? First off, on a standard checkerboard, how many squares are on there? That's the first one. And your second one, in the game of billiards, what color traditionally is the five ball? Oh. All right, here's your extra time to think about it. <laughs> All 
right, Hunter, which one would you like to answer first? The second. The second one. In the game of billiards, what color traditionally is the five ball? Orange. That is correct. And now, for the center box and the successful double or nothing, how many squares are on a checkerboard? 64. You are right on the nose. You did it. Put two O's on the board. Successful double or nothing, $700 in the pot now. We're going to shuffle. And control goes back to you, Sonny. Let me do the arts. She's going with the arts for the block. Get this question correct. You'll have a diagonal block of hunter. Here, here we go. Question under arts. Famous for having lions at its entrance... Named Patience and Fortitude, what New York building was dedicated and opened on May 23rd, 1911? For the block, name the building. Say that again. Famous for having lions at its entrance, stone lions, named Patience and Fortitude, what New York building was dedicated and opened on May 23rd, 1911? Your hint is the this building has a lot of stories. Is it the Empire? What is it? Empire State Building. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. That one has a lot of stories. Yeah, but the one I've been looking for for the correct the answers, Chrysler. no, is the no. New York Public Library. Uh, New York oh, Public Library the, has a lot of stories. has a lot of stories. Hi, clever. I see. I try to give you some clues. Occasionally. I was thinking height. Not, but... All right. $700 remains in the pot. We're going to shuffle. Hunter, a break for you. And it has to be in the category that it's in my worst subject. But let's try it anyway. Language for the world. I get this question correct. Under language, it's tic-tac-toe. Another $900 added to your score. And you're going to go back to the bonus round once again. All right? Here comes your question under okay. language. The name of this famous laundry detergent is a synonym for the word brazen. That's B-R-A-Z-E-N. The name of this laundry detergent is a synonym for brazen. For tic-tac-toe and $900, name it. Um, Downey. <laughs> Good guess, but not the one we're looking for. Famous line of a song is brazen and bold. Bold is what we're looking for. Oh. Mm -hmm. Bold? That, that, that's, that's a lot of detergents called bold? Yeah. I've never heard of that. I've never yes. heard of that. Learn something new every day here on Tic Tac Toe. All right. Forget it $700 in the pot. We'll shuffle. <laughs> That's Sonny, over uh, to you. I've never done one, but let's do double or nothing. Right, double or nothing for the block. You have a chance, to, you're in two boxes in the same turn. Okay. In order to do that, you got to get the first part of the double or nothing question correctly. <coughs> Here it is. All right, the word salary, S-A-L-A-R-Y, yes. is derived from the Latin word for allowance paid to Roman soldiers to buy what? Was it A, salt, B, Togas, C, leather and hide, or D, furniture? I mean, salary. Yeah. I'm going to, let me see that again. Leather and hide? Leather and hide? I'm sorry, is incorrect. The correct answer is actually salt. That was my other guess, damn it. So I actually, uh, again, something I didn't even know. Well, you would think they'd need, they need leather and hide back then. So. Mm -hmm. Apparently salt was more valuable at the time. But all right. $700 in the pot. We're going to shuffle. And chance for you, huh? Oh, Hunter, no. Hunter, over to you. 
auction it's got to be. All oh, right, boy. get this question right under auction. It's tic-tac-toe for you. Sonny, you need this question for the block. Let's go to the auction list and see what's on the block today. I think I've done an auction, but I don't remember how it goes. All right. The subject for this auction category is kids card games. Ooh. Kids card games. I got a list of 10 kids card games here. You have to tell me how many of the 10 you think you can get right. Hunter, since you selected the category, you get to bid first. I think I can name three. All right, you said you can do three. Sonny, can you do better than three? Mm. You need a bit, and give me a bit higher than three or challenge Hunter to give me three on the list. Um, I guess I could challenge. You want to challenge him with three? All right. Sure. Hunter, I need three of the ten that are on my list. If you can give me three of them, it's tic-tac-doe and nine hundred dollars. Sure. So I'm looking for kids' card games. Crazy eights. That's one. Go fish. That's two. Old maid. You have tic-tac-doe. Well done. There we go. Good game, Sonny. Alright. <laughs> Alright. The other the other ones that are on the list was War. Oh, I forgot about that one. Magic the Gathering, which is Ooh. a personal favorite of mine. Concentration. Spit in the Ocean, a game I've never heard of. Speed, another one I've never heard of. Uno. And the ever popular 52 card pickup. My brothers used to do that to me all the time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's a win for you, Hunter. Another $900 added to your score, bringing you up to $26,300. And you're going to be playing in the bonus round in just a few minutes. I didn't last me long. <laughs> uh huh. Well, uh, Sonny, uh, again, I appreciate you just wanting to play and join in the fun here because. We, we needed somebody to fill in. You did a good job. And like I said, you can always come back and try again, try to get on the top leaderboard and make the Tournament of Champions at the end of the season, which will always be fun. But we'll put your $1,900 and your one win and on the <laughs> leaderboard a little bit later on. But right now, Hunter, are you ready to go face off against Fluffy again? Yep. Let's do it. Let's head back to Baltimore. <laughs> You know how this works again. Since you won the jackpot last game, we're gonna it's been reset back to ten thousand dollars for finding tick and tack. Twenty thousand if you can find tick and tack on your first two picks, alright? Okie doke. Good luck to you. Let's shuffle the board. Long shuffle this time. Alright, where would you like to begin? Alright, let's start with, again with a little bit of blackjack. Two. The little deuce, top of the board, behind number two we have. Same $400. I feel like I've read this story already. One. Number one, right next door, behind number one we have. $100 this time. You're halfway home. One square on the board right now gives you the instant win if you can find that $500 space. Number eight. Number eight. Bottom of the board, behind number eight, we have... It's Tick! Oh, here we go again! Tick, oh. you find Tack on this. Find Tack or $500, you are a winner. Four. Number four again, looking for Tack for $10,000. Behind number four, we have... 250 Okay. You got 750 You need 250 more or Tack. Number... Hmm. You know what? Let's let's cut to the chase. Five. Number five, dead center of the board. We're looking for two fifty or tack for the win. Center box. We have. Yeah, got it. Twelve fifty is the winner. Yes, sir. All right. Twelve hundred fifty. If I had, if that was tack, I would have chosen number six for the super bonus. Well, we'll see. In just a moment. 
We're gonna do some math here first. You got 1250. You got four boxes remaining on the board. That's gonna net you another five thousand dollars. So if, after two games, Hunter, on the tic tac toe, you're up to a cash total of thirty one thousand three hundred dollars already. Well done. Wow. And you said you would you. you said you would have went six for the bu super bonus. Let's see what was. My yeah, it was fluffy. Oh, you would have done it. You would have done it. You would have done it. Right. Well, if only I had found Tack, that would have been lovely to see Fluffy. Yeah, let's uh, see where the rest of the board was. They had Tack was oh, behind was. number seven. Right next door to it. Alright, Hunter, two wins, $31,300. I believe this is your best run of the game so far. So definitely going to put you on the leaderboard. Well, let's see if we can add to it. we got time for one more game. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back to play that final game right after this. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, welcome back to Tic-Tac-Toe. Hunter on a tear through the game so far here today. He's got himself $31,300. Ready to take on his next opponent, who's playing in the circle position this time. We have Equals Peach. Peach, welcome back. Hey, y'all. Right. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, no problem. Had some rough goes of the game so far, but ready to challenge Hunter here and take the interim championship from him. I'm ready to give Hunter a run for his money. Well, yeah, I, I know you have more than capable of doing so, so let's get you right to it. Take a look at our final nine subjects for this game of tic-tac-toe, and they are... We have food and drink. Take a letter. The bonus category. On the map, the silver screen, secret category, economics, literature, and seesaw. Of course, you know the bonus category, a three-part question. Answer all three parts correctly, and you get another turn immediately. Secret category, of course, doubling everything on the pot. And seesaw, I give you a topic, and I have ten answers for it. You go back and forth, guessing how many, back and forth, give me answers off the list until one of you can't answer correctly. All right. With that said, game three underway. Let's get started with Hunter playing in the exposition. You're up first. Please pick a category. Brandon, I'd like to take a letter, please. Take a letter, all right. Let's go to take a letter. All right. Take a letter, top of the board. Here's your question. Your letter for this is C. Letter C. According to the book sized, what are long pointed and what are long pointed and seven or eight inches long in Japan, but ten inches and blunt in China. Name the C. Long. Cone. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I had a feeling I was wrong. Uh, you're, you're, you were thinking the right path, but we're actually, what we're looking for is chopsticks. Chopsticks is the C we're oh. looking for. <laughs> All right. Well, no box there. We we'll shuffle the categories. Cones. All right. Peach, you're up. Please you select. Uh, let's go try on the map on the center. On the map in the center box, it's a two-part question. You'll have extra time to think about it. All right. Here it is. First off. What, which Spanish-speaking nation got its name from its position on the equator? That's your first one. And your second one is what river carved the Grand Canyon? All right, what river carved the Grand Canyon? Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, and with it, time's up. Which one would you like to answer first? First one. First one, all right. Which Spanish-speaking nation got its name from its position on the equator? Ecuador. That is correct. And now for the center box, what river carved the Grand Canyon? I think that was the Colorado River. And you are right. Put a O in the box there. $300, successful center box question for you. Let's shuffle the categories. And control goes back to Hunter. Try the bonus category. Bonus category, all right. Right side of the board, again, it is a three-part question. Answer all three parts correctly, and you'll get another turn immediately, all right? Here comes your bonus. Okay. 
All right, Hunter, we're talking about the NBA right now. I need you to name name three of the last four teams in the NBA to win the NBA championship. Okay, let's see. The Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes, the current reigning champions. The Golden State Warriors. Yes, they won in 2015. And the San Antonio Spurs. Who won in 2014. You want to guess the other one? For fun? Mm, the, La the Lakers? No, it was actually the Miami Heat. I was going to say. LeBron second to last year with the team there in Miami in 2013. But you got it right. X gets the box for the bonus category. Since you got it correct, you get another turn immediately. So we're going to shuffle the categories. And it's still your selection. Where would you like to go? Um, The silver screen, please. Silver screen up in the upper right-hand corner. Here comes your question on the silver screen. What kind of animal starred in the 2006 computer animated movie Happy Feet? Penguins! You got it right. Penguins, correct. Put an X on the board. $700 in the pot. Reshuffle. And control goes back to you, Peach. Oh, for Pete's sake. No, I cannot. Bonus category. Going bonus category on the left side of the board. All right. Here comes your bonus category question. All right, Peach. I need you to name me three of the five states that border the Gulf of Mexico. Okay. Florida. That's one. And Louisiana. That's two. I need one more. Uh, I'm prepared to say Texas. And you got it right. Good job. Let's put an O on the board. The other, right. the other two states, of course, being Mississippi and Alabama. Ooh. All right, $900 in the pot. You got that bonus category question correct, so that means you get another turn immediately, so we'll shuffle. Interesting. I was, man, I was tempted to think uh -oh. Georgia. All right, where would you like to go, Peach? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Call it crazy, but let's go economics. Economics, all right. Upper left-hand corner. Here comes your question under economics. I hated that class in high school. What company slogan of finger licking good became eat your fingers off when it was launched in the country of China? Uh, funny story. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, got it right. Put an O on the board. Eat your fingers off. Yeah, when they when they when, yep. when they launched the camp when they launched the campaign in China, did you realize? And here's a fun little fact that the they created a KFC, I think it was a lip gloss yeah. that tastes like chicken over in China. You're kidding! I yep. kid you not. Yep, yep. You go, go, go look, go look it up on the Google machine. You guys in YouTube land do the same. It's the craziest <laughs> thing you have ever seen. Hey, at least they didn't make like perfume or something. This is true, thankfully. No, well, not I, yet. I don't think not I want to smell like greasy-ass chicken or something. Yeah, you never know. All right, $1,100 is in the pot. <laughs> We're going to shuffle. <laughs> Sorry. And we go back to you, Hunter. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what does he say? Oh. That's the third time that's popped up, but I'm not... Unlike Peach, I'm not taking that right now. Yeah, the bonus category, oh. please. Going with the bonus category. Good. Get this bonus category Good. question correct. It's a block, and you'll get another, and you'll get another turn immediately. What's the seesaw? Here is your bonus category. All right, Hunter. Here's your bonus question. I'm going to give you the. I'm going to give you the three teams from the NFL. All you have to do is tell me what their host city is. All right? Your, th okay. your three teams are the 49ers. That's Philadelphia? No, 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 no. Do, uh, no I'm... Well, you didn't let me finish, but... You uh -oh. want... 
Okay. You want to go? Do you want to go with Philadelphia? I'm back. No, no, All I right. don't want to go with Philadelphia. All Something right. just popped in my head. All right. Well, the 49ers. The, the 49ers. The Bills. And the Hawks. Oh, sorry, not the Hawks. The Falcons. Excuse me. Thank goodness I. Thank goodness I second guessed myself. The 49ers are in San Francisco. Yes. The Bills are in Buffalo. That's right. And the Falcons are in Atlanta. That's right. You got all three. Put an X on the board for the block. Thank God I second guessed myself. $1,300 in the pot. And because wow. of the bonus That's category, hard. you get another turn immediately. So we'll shuffle. Three boxes remain. Oh! <laughs> Is it doing that again? <laughs> oh my god! Somebody doesn't like is, your What is that made? Four in a row? Um, I believe I so. That is four in a row. Ray, you're not being very nice to them. Hey, it is what a random shuffle chosen by the computer. All I, I do know. is push the button. Yeah, <laughs> you push the button. Oh, next, what to do? What to do? Next time I'll, uh, yeah, okay, next I'm time a, I'll push the button. I'm on my phone for the time being. I'm going to go with, you know what, I'm going to play it safe. I know Peach hates Seesaw. Literature, please. Literature. Bottom center of the board, here comes your question under literature. All right, in the classic tale, what character in a fable worked hard all summer long while the fun-loving grasshopper played? Name the character. Ants. Yeah, got it right. Put an X on the board there. Fifteen hundred dollars in the pot. This is all coming down to one interesting choice here. All right, we're gonna send control over to um, Peach now. It's the it. It's the S key. Go ahead. Please no see I pushed the button this time. Please no Yay! Yay! You're welcome. No see See, I told you it was Brandon's fault. Thank you. Thank you, Sunny. I told you it was Brandon's mm -hmm. fault. Peach, it's your selection. Will secret category get me tic tac toe if I get it right? Yes. Yes, it will. Then I'll take it. Okay. Secret category. Spot right coin. Yep. Secret category. Get this secret category question correct. It will be tic tac toe, three thousand dollars, and you will become my new interim champion. Yay. Here comes your secret category question. Good luck to you. Peach. Which movie includes the frenzied musical sequence, Dueling Banjos? Aha. Is it A, The Shining, B, Deliverance, C, Platoon, or D, A Clockwork Orange? Hmm. My answer will be Deliverance. And you have tic-tac-toe! Well done! I knew you could do it, Peach! I I knew you could do it. Well done. That was actually a bit of a guess. I think really? it, I thought I saw a clip of dueling banjos. There's just a bunch of D's all over the title. I am so well, happy you. Think I am so freaking happy you didn't choke. Deliverance. I am so happy you didn't choke. Well, fantastic. You did a, a wonderful job there. It's tic tac toe. Three thousand dollars for that game. You'll be going on to the bonus round here in just a minute. Hunter, you you put up a good fight. You, it's some interesting choices. Y'all were trying to avoid the seesaw category like the plague at this point. And I kind of found True. it funny. But it, in the end, it worked out well for you. But you're not leaving us empty-handed. You'll definitely be on the leaderboard with your two wins now and $31,300 to your credit. Well done, sir. All right. And let me just say something to Peach. Peach? Yes, Hunter? You beat me. Now go do me a favor and beat Fluffy. <laughs> I think I will. Thank you. All right. Let's take one more time to bonus land. Here we go. All right. Here we are. Last time in bonus round for this episode here. You know how this works, Peach. You got to get tick. You need to find Tick and Tack to get the jackpot, which net for this game will be $11,000. Or you need to get to a thousand dollars before you find, before you find our friend 
the f dragon in the middle. All right. Any question? No. Hang it on. Fantastic. Here we go. Let's shuffle the board up. Fluffy, go hide somewhere. All right. And where would you like to begin, Peach? Third time's the charm. Box one. Box one, upper left-hand corner. Remember what we had? $400. Oh, okay. You need 600 or tick and tack. All right. Box number nine. Number nine, opposite corner. Behind number nine we have... There's Ooh. tick. Had the, four, had the 400 big tack. You'd have had $22,000. All right, you find tick, it's $11,000, or you need 600 more. Okay, let me try box number five. Dead center to make the diagonal tic-tac-toe, just like how you want in the upfront game. Looking for tack behind number five, we have 250 $650 now, you need 350 or tack. Number four. Number four, left side of the board, looking for tack. Behind four, we have one hundred dollars. You're up to seven fifty now. You need two fifty or tack. Moving on back to number three. Number three, upper right hand corner, looking for the winner here. Behind number three, we have yes, the dragon. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Peach. Fluffy has ruined the day. Again. Yay. Well, no money for you there. Uh, let's reveal the rest of the board, see where everything was. Tack was behind number oh. six. And had you gone straight up the left side of the board, would have been the instant win. All right. No, no bit jackpot giveaway for you, but Peach, you are my new interim champion with $3,000 even, and you'll be back with us next time. Face another opponent and defend your interim championship, all right? Okay. Hey, right, everybody, all just have a good time during the show today. Yes, yep. we did. Yeah, we had some comical moments for sure this one, <laughs> and definitely a whole lot of craziness going on. And that's what we like. We, we try to be entertaining for you guys here on Tic Tac Toe. Not to mention also teach you a little something, something on the side. Who knows? But anyway, we thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you'd like to become a contestant here on Tic Tac Toe, Make sure you leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below. And just let us know you want to be, join us here on the Discord Game Show Network. And we'll bring you on in. You may be the next big winner here on Tic Tac Toe or in any of our great games we have here on the channel. But until next time, thank you for watching. I'm Brandon Scots, and we'll see you next time for another game of Tic Tac Toe. Bye for now, folks. Game Show Network Production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.